Well, Steve, you were talking about it right there with the weather being a little chillier than normal. I mean, right now, as you can see, I'm in a big puffer jacket. But you know what? Just like a lot of the fans that came to Bush Stadium today, they said rain, shine, cold weather, snowing, whatever it was. I mean, below freezing temperatures. They said no matter what, they were going to make sure they made it to Bush Stadium today for the home opener because it's the first time since 2019 that fans were allowed back inside of Bush Stadium. So Bush Stadium was approved for 32 percent capacity. So that is about 14. 1,500 tickets that were available for socially distant seating and groups inside the park. They actually had some of the seats roped off, so you were able to have groups of four. They had little pods, and people were able to socially distance, and they were required to wear masks at all times. There was also cashless transactions. There was mobile ticketing, and I just kind of went around and spoke to some of the fans, and they said even though it's a little different than past years, they said it was still nice. They were able to get through things quickly, and I was able to speak to some fans, and they said that they were just excited to get back in Bush Stadium. It didn't matter if they had to wear a mask, if they had to social distance, anything like that. They were just happy to be back and see the Cardinals live. I'm uh, super excited. Um, I can't wait to have full capacity. Obviously, it's a, it's a different uh, environment right now, but I think uh, I'm, I'm more excited to get the full capacity, but it's nice to be back inside. It feels really great. We, we're all vaccinated in our family now, so we came with our mom, stepdad, and us, and it feels great to be out and be back to normal. So once again, it's a little colder than normal, but it's not going to stop fans from enjoying this weekend, especially opening weekend with fans back inside of Bush Stadium. And you guys mentioned Scott Rowland. I actually ran into him a minute ago. He just went inside to live at uh, live at Lowe's with his son, and he said that he enjoyed opening day, and he said it was just so great to see the fans. So even Scott Rowland was really enjoying <laughs> it, guys. A lot of excitement out there, Brooke. Thank you. Now we want to get to our Ray Preston, who is just south of Bush Stadium also catching up with some fans. Ray, what's it like out there? Yeah, you know, we were talking to one fan earlier, and he was talking about how everybody wants to get back to that sense of normalcy, and he summed it up by saying there's nothing more normal than going to a baseball game. You know, at the parking lot south of Bush Stadium, people started arriving 7 o'clock this morning to start their tailgating for the home opener. It's really just built into us that come from here. We just love the Cardinals and love the city. So I don't know. I, I don't know. We just love everything that has to do with them. It's St. Louis holiday. St. Louis holiday. Everybody should be off work today. There's that little guy. And a lot of people do take the day off from work or they skip school for something like this. You know, we found one woman who says last year, even though there were no fans in the stands, she and some friends came to the parking lot to tailgate and they had their own opening day. Only four people on this lot and did our tailgate, even though there was nothing else going on. But we came down here, we put up our tent, we barbecued, and we had our own little tailgate on opening day last July. So it was sad, but we did it anyway. So, of course, they're not to 100% capacity yet, but what a difference a year makes. And, of course, as the season does go on, they're hoping to increase that capacity so they'll have even more fans inside Bush Stadium. Guys, back to you.